Hey, this is Ian. Hey, this is Jeff. And today, what are we working on, Dad? We're going to replace the brake pads on the MGB front okay. brake disc pads. All right, I'll do some pre-work and then we'll uh, get back with you. See you. Okay, see you. Go. Hey, I want to show you one of the first steps I did was I put some disc brake quiet. It's like this goopy plastic that you can put on the rubber type plastic. You spread it onto the pads and then you use a piece of paper, spread it out, and even film. You see I put it on all the pads and what it does is you let that set up. It says 10 minutes, but I, I do it the day before because I want it to be set better. And what it does is you can see this right here, like makes up glue almost and it will when you put it against the pads against the the calipers it kind of bonds them together and keeps them from moving and vibrating and squealing so it's this prevents the brakes hopefully from squealing I've been using it you know pretty successfully I, I get some brake squeal occasionally but for the most part it works pretty well so next step after doing that I got a jack up the car done it put the jack stand under it removing the wheel and then I'll get right back with you after I get all that off. Okay, bye. Okay, hey, so we're removing the two fasteners on the back. They broke loose pretty easily. Uh, when I get it off, I'll hang it up with a piece of wire. I'll show you that next and then we'll start taking the pads off. Yep. All right, well, I got it off the back. We'll set it up here for right now and start taking off the fasteners for the pads and the retainers. See, I'm just straightening those out. I can get that one. There we go. Make note of which way it went. Little tab goes toward the center. Tab goes toward the center. See if I need new pins. These are these keys. There's the cotter key is starting to get a little bit bent. Of course, it falls down in there. There it is. Tab went toward the center again. Put it over here now. Now I'll just take the pads off. They're not too bad of shape, really. You can see I put some of that on it the last time. You can see how it kind of wore around that. Uh, they're about, I don't know, maybe two-thirds worn out, but definitely time to do it before they get, you know, any more. It definitely will increase our braking when we uh, replace the pad. So now I've got to press the uh, calipers together, and I'll get ready for that and show you that next. Okay, Bob. Okay, so, Dad, what are we doing right now? I'm going to get the caliper piston pushed back in with this... Uh, C clamp. It's going in pretty good. Do one side at a time. Sometimes you have to put a, a clamp on the other side to hold it while you're pushing it in. Do one side at a time, but this one's going pretty well. All right, I got that one in. Now I got to do the other side. Let's see if it'll stay. So you can see how I'm just pressing that back together. You can see it going together, right? You can see it going in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get it all the way in. It makes it easier to put the pads on because the pads are going to be pretty thick. Also, I'm looking at the, the retaining seal on it. They look pretty good. I don't see any leaking or anything. It hasn't been too long since I rebuilt these calipers. So that's that. Now let me get the pads and get them put on there and, and put them in place. All right, we'll do that next. Bye. All right, I've got the pads in there. I just slipped them in. I'll probably show you when I do the other side. I think I've skipped it here on our step. But now I'm trying to get the pins back in, which is not always fun when they get a little worn like these. Getting it back in there. All right, they got in. Got one side. I'm using, uh, let me straighten this one out. You see how this one's a little bent here? See how that's bent? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try to straighten it out. It might make it a little easier putting it back on. These look like they're in fairly decent shape. 
Hopefully I won't have to reuse them. I put a little bit of this brake grease on it so they'll slide easily in and out on that retaining clip and won't bind up. No, I don't think it's really, you know, super necessary to do that, but it might help some. This pin here, I think, is going to be quite difficult. I can already tell it's going to be replaced soon. Right now, I'm getting it to the other side. It's going to be fun. Oh, it slid through. <laughs> it, it actually went under the clip. All right. I think this, this one may have to be replaced. It is starting to split away. Oh, I got it in there. Now, let's get it through the other side. All right. Now it's just simply bending one of these tabs back here and to hold it in place. All right, I think that's going to be the last time for these pins. Okay, so that's in. Notice I've got the uh, the tabs back toward the center again right here. See those tabs? Mm -hmm. They're toward the center. All right, now let's look at yeah, it looks like it'll go on. I think it'll go fine. Yeah, it'll go on fine. So we're gonna slip it back on and get our fasteners if we can find them. Where did they go? Oh, there they go. They're up under me. All right. Put that in there. Kind of hard to put the video in here to see it. Here, you, if you want to put it back behind me there, Ian, look. Where? Back behind me here, look where I'm pointing. You can see that fastener back down below. See the fastener down here? Which one? This one right here, see it? Yeah. All right, that's the one I'm turning. And so I'll finish tightening everything up, and bend those tabs down, and this side will be done. All right, so that's it. All right, let me show you a few things from uh, the brakes. These are the pads I got off just a second ago. You can see how much they've worn. Yeah, they had a little bit of life left on them, you know, when you compare the two. But, you know, they're probably three quarters mm, past worn, so they're gonna need replaced anytime soon. So today was a good day for it. Okay, let me show you how I break this loose. I've already removed the bolts on the back of the, uh, the fasteners. Now I'm just going to slide it off. Just kind of work it off. You getting that? Wait, what, Right here. Right here. Look. Okay. Look where I'm... See? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just work it off. And then I just set it on top. And start uh, working on it. So I, so I can get to it. I just place it on top there. Now I need to remove two cotter pins, the retaining clips. You mm -hmm. getting that? Mm -hmm. And the pads. And I'll show you that again on this side. So let me go ahead and remove those. They're pretty easy to remove. You can go ahead and turn it off there, Ian. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Tighten in the clamp. You can see the piston start to keep sliding in just a little bit each time. Eventually it'll disappear. See it's going closer and closer. And that should be good enough there. So back them all the way up. You can see they're backed all the way in. The pistons are backed into the calipers. Now I've got to take the pads. And by the way, I noticed when I took this one off, this one was worn even more than the other side. And so it was pretty much done. All right, let's slide these in. Here we go. Ready? You know, slide that in there. Get the other one. Place that one in. Put it the right way around. That's always important. Get it where those... There we go. All right, take the clips. And that one is not sliding in as well. There we go. Oh, I should have greased it a little bit. Put a little grease on it, it makes it slide in easier. go we'll do the same thing on this side and it'll be done all right
So are we done for the we're day? We're done. Okay. We'll Bye, you. everyone. I hope you liked the video.